Hi, it's the Ross from Vegan Gal here, and today I'm doing another video for the brand called Hue. It's H U, and I will have a link below to their website. This is uh, the, another um, bunch of new or new to me that I haven't tried them yet. Uh, varieties of their chocolate, three new, three more varieties, and um, this is what the packaging looks like. If you've never seen, there's I've done a few of them already for their uh, chocolates. And the U is, it's H-U, and they have their hand, the hand like this, and it's get, get back to human, that's why, they, hence the H-U. So, a little bit about this, if you don't know, and I've said this in all the other videos, but I will repeat it again. Um, so, it's a brother and sister a team that started this, uh, this brand, um, and it says on the back, it's time to get back to the way humans ate before industry ruined food. And they say they have, and just generally, each one, uh, all of them are, no refined sugar, no cane sugar, no sugar alcohols, no erythritol, no dairy, no soy, no palm oil, no lecithins, no emulsifiers. They're USDA organic, fair trade, kosher, um, organic, 70% cacao, vegan, and paleo. Also non-GMO project verified, certified paleo, and certified vegan. Um, let's see what else to tell you on here that I didn't say already. Also no vanilla extract. Although some companies, I do use their products, they do have vanilla extract, so uh, nobody's perfect. Uh, what else do they not have that I didn't mention here? Oh, it says on the front, no, oh, yeah, I didn't realize it says no vanilla extract in certain ones, and the one I was looking at said no emulsifiers, so that's why it wasn't on there, because um, I think they use vanilla, because there's some that actually have vanilla in them, that's why it says that, no vanilla extract. Uh, let's see what else to tell you. Yeah, and some of them are made in Italy. I think, let's see, are they all made in Italy? Yeah, all of them are made in Italy, actually. And I think these use the um, compostable uh, packaging on the inside because one of them I had before did as well. So the three different, and also there's no stabilizers, so it says it's best kept below 75 degrees Fahrenheit to avoid um, melting. I actually keep them in the freezer. And I took them out so they wouldn't be as difficult to break into pieces, but that's where I keep mine so they stay better. Um, the allergy statement they also say here contains coconut and may also contain almonds, cashew, hazelnut, pistachio, and dairy, but allergen cleans are made prior to production. But beware that the product is produced using equipment that also processes tree nuts, soy, dairy, and wheat, just in case that's an issue for you. Uh, let's see what else to tell you. I think that's about it. So I'm going to basically go through all of them. Um, and I'm going to start with uh, one that's, let's see, they're too crunchy. So I'm going to start with the cashew butter. And pure vanilla bean dark chocolate. So that's this one right here. And what does this one have in it? It has organic cacao, organic unrefined coconut sugar, organic cashew, organic cocoa butter, organic vanilla bean, and sea salt. Hence when they said no vanilla extract, that's what they meant by this. So that's this one right here. I'm going to go ahead and open it. And then see what if it says anything else. It does say something else here. So the sibling co-founders are Jordan and Jessica. And it also says, we found a hue to unite ultra simple ingredients with unbeatable taste. And they've done a very good job of it. So, yes, this is the one that they have that's the compostable one. And it says it's not backyard compostable, it's industrial compostable, but I actually bury my stuff all in the ground. So, hopefully, it'll it'll do what it's supposed to do. So, so I'm going to go ahead and open this. I actually have a scissor here to cut it. That might be easier just to get a little cut to open it. Okay. I always like smelling. I don't know if it smells anything, but vanilla bean. I love. I like. I like vanilla bean a lot. It smells good. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and break off one little square. They have. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight squares. And I forgot to say the um, nutritional information here. So it says two servings per container. I only. Yeah, that's really like a half a bar, but I usually just have one or two squares. 190 calories. So it says uh, 13 grams of fat, and then it says seven grams of saturated fat. And again, don't think of fat as fat like you're eating something that's you know bad for you because this is good quality fats from the uh, cashews the cocoa butter the cacao so just so you know that also dietary fiber three grams eleven percent protein is three grams vitamin d two percent iron is very high twenty percent calcium two percent and potassium six percent and that's for one serving which would be four squares of the uh, chocolate so go ahead and go ahead and try a piece here just got to break it off show you what that looks like and if you've never seen the chocolate they also put an imprint on it with their little um, 
the name Q. So if you could see that there, I don't know if you could see that. Get closer. Maybe you can. Maybe you can. But like, there we go. So they actually have the cashew filled inside it, which is cool. I like that. Mm. Now what I like to do is bite it into the chocolate and then kind of let it melt in my mouth and soften up. It tastes much better that way. So that's really cool. It's like it's it's sa sandwiched inside, kind of like an Oreo. Very nice. And just the right amount of sweetness for me, anyway. Okay, so the next one is their crunchy mint dark chocolate. That sounds really good. I like mint a lot, too. So what does this one have? It has organic cacao, organic unrefined coconut sugar, organic cocoa butter, organic cacao nibs, which is nice because it's going to be crunchy, so I like that, and organic peppermint oil. Very nice. Um, so let's see what's different here compared to this one. Pretty much the same or close to the same nutritional information. A little bit different on the fat, a little bit higher. Um, maybe because of the cacao nibs. And then no vitamin D, no, and um, sorry, never no vitamin D, 2, 20, 2, and 6. Yeah, so it's basically the same for nutritional information. And it also even has 3 grams of protein. I didn't mention that. So if you need a little extra protein in your chocolate, you're getting it there. Well, it has some, you know, it has some, some of, some of the powdery from the cacao. So this is also with the compostable packaging. And I'm going to cut that open as well. Just to get it started. Easy to tear it that way. And I'm, I'm, I'm expecting a minty um, uh, uh, aroma. Let me see what we got. Oh, yeah. It's good. You know why? Uh, as opposed to some people use, like, let's see, a, a, a peppermint, like an essence of mint. But this is actually peppermint oil. So it's really, just like people I've had like different kinds of things where they've used actually real lemon oil, so you really taste it, and I like that. I really, I'm a fan of that, like peppermint oil, lemon oil, or orange oil and things, really good, so. I hope they make more with, uh, you know, these essential oils. Is that what it's called? Organic peppermint oil. It's not essential oils. I pardon, let me backtrack. Essential oils is not something you'd put in here. Um, essential oils are, are other for other uses, not for, for, not for um, internal consumption. So this is an oil that actually can be. So I want to correct myself there. So here's, oh, that smells really good. I don't see, it's not like the cashew butter in there, but let's see, I'm going to take a bite into that one. Same thing with the little hue on there, imprint. Mmm, that's really good. I taste the crunchiness, small crunch, it's not like a heavy crunch. Mmm, but the mint, I like that. As it melts on your mouth. You can, you can get the mint out of it. Mm, that's really nice. I think it smells stronger than it tastes as far as the mint goes. It's really nice. I like that mintiness to it. Okay, and the last one I have here is the Vanilla Crunch Dark Chocolate. Once I finish up this one. So what does this one have? Is cacao, organic cacao, organic unrefined coconut sugar, organic coconut butter, or cocoa butter, sorry. Organic quinoa and organic vanilla bean and sea salt. So I imagine the um, organic quinoa, it's going to be the crunchy part of it. And as far as nutritional information, pretty much the same with everything. Not, not too much variance on here, so I'm going to go ahead and open this one up too. And again, I believe this is the compostable packaging again. I'm going to go ahead and open this one up. I like the ones where they use the butters in it. Like I did one where they used the hazelnut butter, and that was really good. Really a fan of that. Um, it's got a nice, when it's in the center of it, it's really nice. Okay, so let's see how this one is. I'm going to go ahead and break off a piece. Let me see the crunch inside. It doesn't smell any different. It's not, it doesn't have that same smell like it, it would with the mint. I don't really smell it. Ooh, that's cool. I like what they did with this one. So I can see on the back, can you see, you can see the crunchy part. That's all the quinoa there. That's cute. And then the front is here, so. So what they did was a layer, oops, I think I dropped one. <laughs> with a layer of crunch on the back, so it's all uniform. That's nice. I don't, hmm, sorry. The vanilla is very mild. I love vanilla, so 
For me, I'd want more vanilla in here. <laughs> it's really nice taste, though. I like it, the crunch. The crunch is nice. This is crunchier than the other one with the cacao in it, but it's really, they're all really good. Uh, the company's done a really great job with coming up with really innovative um, varieties. So, I have to say, I like these really very much. So, the three, again, that I sampled, and I hope you will as well. I hope you go to your local store or get them online. So, we have the cashew butter plus pure vanilla bean dark chocolate. That was really good. And the crunchy mint dark chocolate, also very good. And finally, the vanilla crunch dark chocolate, also all were really good. And I hope you'll check them out. And I thank you for watching. It's the Ross and Vegan Gal.